All right, so it's the actual car from the movie. That was Steve McQueen's last movie. Should be a 51 Chevy, right? I'll be there in a half hour, 45 minutes. Bye. This guy has the car that Steve McQueen drove in his last movie, Hunter. You ever see the movie? No. It's a really good movie. You should watch it. OK, but anyway, we're going to go buy the car. Hey, Rick, why don't you just stay here and let me go? I know you're a Steve McQueen wannabe. And well, I will I, buy I'm not a Steve McQueen wannabe. I just want to go take a look at the car. It's worth a lot of money. We can make some money off it. Look, I just, we all know that you're going to get the car. You're going to pay too much for it. You've got the Bieber fever from McQueen. Come on, Corey, let's go. No, no, just because it's Steve McQueen's car doesn't mean I'm going to keep it. I'm done with you guys. Come on. Don't spend too much money. I'll take care of it. Steve McQueen wannabe, that was pretty good, boss. That's the truth. A while back, I tried to buy a really cool motorcycle that had been owned by McQueen. I'll go 85. It right. means too much to me. But we couldn't make a deal. If this car is in good shape, I am not going to let it slip away. So this is it, huh? It is. 1951 uh, Chevy convertible that Steve McQueen drove in the movie The Hunter. That is sweet. And where did you get it? It came from his estate. You can hear him grinding the gears, and you can hear it running in the movie. OK. My dad has some kind of weird man crush on Steve McQueen. <laughs> it's not a man crush. I just think the guy's really cool, all right? It's a man crush, dude. <laughs> I'm a used car dealer, and this is what I do, is try to turn a profit. It's probably worth somewhere between 80 and 100,000. If we can come in somewhere around 40 grand, that'd be great. So this was the, from the movie Hunter. You have the paperwork saying this was in the movie. This was I do, Steve yes. McQueen's car. Yeah, all the documents and everything we have. It was just uh, a movie car. OK. It came out in 1980. For some reason, I know he crashed the hell out of this car. The whole premise of the movie was that he was a bounty hunter. Things weren't going well for him the entire movie. He gets beat up a lot and things like that. It was a great flick. And I think it was his last movie, too. He passed away just a few months after the movie came out. They really don't make movie stars like Steve McQueen anymore. The guy raced cars and motorcycles for fun. And in the movies, he did most of his own stunts. So I imagine the car was uh, restored in like the 80s. I mean, it does have the cassette player in it. <laughs> yeah. There's a few things that could use a little attention, but uh, that's a pretty damn clean car. How's the top? Perfect. There we go. That looks sweet. I like this. So how much you want for it? I'd like to be in the neighborhood of about 40 grand. I mean, I love the car. I'd love to make you an offer on it, but I just want to make sure everything's right on this thing. Do you mind if I have someone come down and take a look at it, just to make sure there's no major hidden problems, everything's correct? Sure, I understand. All right, I'll be right back. I'll give Thanks. him a call. The car is beautiful, and McQueen drove it in his last movie. What's not to love? But the business side of me says calm down, and get it checked out. Earlier, we looked at a 51 Chevy that Steve McQueen drove in the movie The Hunter. I like anything associated with Steve McQueen, but I'm not sure what this thing is worth. So I called Danny down to get his opinion. Wow. I'm really glad you guys called me out for this one, man. <laughs> this is beautiful. You know, in 51, that was when Chevrolet started that campaign, see the USA in your Chevrolet. They only did about uh, 20,000 of these in a convertible. 51 Chevy was a great car. They were very much an everyday man's car. This was an affordable car. When they were brand new, they were $2,030 in the convertible form. What you looking at, Danny? Just seeing, you know, how much of it looks original. It's been a while since it's been restored, but you can tell that uh, whoever did it did a nice job with it, man. Wow. It's really clean. It sure is, man. The car looks beautiful. You know, and, and it's not restored to the point where you wouldn't want to drive it. This is a car you can have a blast with, man. Can I see in the trunk? Sure. You got some certificates in here, too. That's cool, man. Yeah, certificates are what you need to see. Should we take it for a spin? Is that all right? Whatever you want to do. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Well, I'm going to drive it. I'm the one buying it. What'd you have me come out here for? Check it out, make sure everything's cool on. Well, how you expect me to check the car out if you're not going to be driving? This is Steve McQueen's 51 Chevy. I got to drive it. Fine. Thanks, brother. 
<laughs> I can't believe I'm in the back seat of this thing. How's it back there, Rick? Comfortable? <laughs> I should be driving this car right now. It's really solid, man. There's not a rattle or a shake or nothing in this car. Oh, dig This it. is a nice car. It really is a nice car. To think that Steve McQueen sat in this seat, held this steering wheel, ran through these gears. Rick, you should feel this. You'd really like it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this car was in such nice shape. My job was easy today. So what do you think it's worth? Ain't a lot to gripe about with this car. The throttle felt great. The transmission felt great. The clutch felt great. The steering felt great. I couldn't say that the car is a 10, but it's a rock solid eight for sure. You know, I've seen 51 Chevy convertibles going for all kinds of prices, but I think I would solidly put it in the low 30s as far as the car is concerned. Now you've got the McQueen factor. OK. That falls right into your court. OK, well, thanks, Danny. Absolutely. Any collector would love to have a 51 Chevy convertible. And then uh, what's it worth because it was Steve McQueen's? Kind of take it from there. All right, so how much do you want for it? 40 grand. It's in the neighborhood of 30, just the way it is. I think Steve McQueen's got to be worth a little bit more. I'll give you 35 cash. Um, I put it down on the money where I kind of needed it to be. Can you come up a couple grand? To what, 37? 37? I, I think it's a fair price. I say go for it. Thirty-seven thousand. All right, can I drive you down to the pawn shop? We'll take care of it. Let's go. All right, you're driving the jeep back. Give me your keys. I can't believe I actually own a car that was driven by Steve McQueen in a movie, and now I finally get to drive it. I am in heaven. Now I really feel like Steve McQueen. <laughs> <laughs>